What's up, YouTube? My name is John Bromit. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator. Predominantly, I've been teaching on Skillshare.com for like five or six years now. I've got 27 classes, I think. But I want to get out on the YouTube and give you guys some content. Anyway, depending on if you are a graphic designer or maybe a photographer or anyone in any profession who's ever got a PDF that you did not have the image for. So that means that when you open the PDF, you get this annoying pop-up that says there's linked images and you don't have those linked images. That means that maybe a client sent it to you and they got it from somewhere and they no longer have the images. Whatever the reason is, you need those images. It's annoying. You want to be able to edit the PDF and then save it again and have the images or maybe you need to actually extract those images for some other design or some other project you're working on. Whatever the reason, it's an annoyance. So sometimes when you go back to that client or whoever sent you that file, you can say, hey, listen, this is linked. I really need these images. Can you send this, 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 that? And then, you know, maybe once in a while you'll get it from them. But a lot of the times they don't have it either. So that means you're stuck or you can use this workaround that I found. Now I found this a little while ago and I've actually been using it for probably a year now. So it's working with the newest version of Adobe Illustrator and it's working with the 2019 version and it probably worked with old versions as well. I don't know, I just happened upon it. It seems like kind of a little cool hack that allows you to just get those images right back so that you can edit the PDF. It's a tiny little step of a workaround but it works so awesome. So let's just jump in and show it. Okay, so I have a PDF here that my client sent me from Brunswick Beer Works. And as soon as I drag it in, you can see annoyingly that it cannot find the linked image. Oh no. So I'll just click ignore because I don't have, I can't replace it because I don't have the linked image. And there's even more, so I'm going to ignore. I'll click apply to all and hit ignore. And now the PDF's going to open, but you're going to see it's missing some really important images. Anywhere you, where you hover over and you see a box with an X in it, and that means I have my smart guides on, which is view smart guides. You see that check there or command you or control you on a PC. That's how we can see these. So I want to get those images back, but it's not easy. I can't seem to grab them. This is a little workaround. It's a tiny little step. It takes a little longer, but at least you'll be able to get those images. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click the artboard tool and we're going to see how big the artboard is. It is five by seven. And it has, if we go to our document setup, bleed and it has an eighth inch bleed. Some of that stuff's not important if, if you just want to grab the image and you don't need to recreate or edit the document. But we're just going to close that and we're going to hit create new and we're going to make another document that's five by seven with an eighth of an inch bleed and we'll make two artboards. It's going to put them beside, that doesn't matter. Now here's the key. Instead of just opening that PDF, we're just going to go to file, we're going to go down to place, we're going to grab that exact same PDF and we're just going to click here to drop it in. Now I want to center it, so I'm just going to center it to that artboard and we hit embed. And now, just using my direct selection tool, I'm going to click and drag and delete these lines that I don't need with the crop marks and all that. And just like that, we now have that first page completely editable. And if I click on these, they're all there, you know, 260 DPI, 286 DPI, and so on. So those images are totally there, you can grab them, you can copy and paste them, do whatever you want with them now, they're totally yours to use. So that is a really wicked workaround and of course if it's a two page document. So you hit place again, you click it and over here make sure you have show import options selected. Now we're going to go to place and we're going to grab the second page. So just hover over to that arrow, two of two, click OK, drop it in, same thing. I'm just going to center it there, click embed, boom, it is all there, all very workable. I'm going to get rid of those crop marks with my direct selection tool. Now I am going a little bit quick but I'm assuming that you're going to be a kind of an intermediate user. So there you go. Now you have this. You can just save it and you've got all these images nice and easy to use. It's a good little workaround. It's a good tip. It's not perfect, you know, if you can get those images from, you know, original amazing quality from your client or whoever sent you the file. That's best, but this is a great workaround. Now in case you don't believe me that that works every time, I'll just show you guys another PDF. We'll click ignore here. This happens every time. I've tested it so many times over the last year. It works perfect. So we'll do it again here. This is 33 and a half by 79. Close it, make a new document. 33 and a half by 79. One artboard, no bleed, hit enter, file, place, grab that PDF, hit OK, drag it in, do that, click embed. Boom, it is all there, all nice and editable and easy to use. It's just cropping up because you're using the PDF and all that stuff that was on the side is now masked out, but it's still there if you go in and you unmask everything. Everything is still there, super easy to use. All right, so that's it. I hope you guys learned something and you enjoyed it. I know it's not the most crazy thing that you're gonna use all the time, but whenever you get one of those PDFs that you're stuck with, now you actually use it, which is super useful. 
Um, be sure to follow me, hit subscribe, like all that stuff. I'm also on Instagram at John Bromit. And if you like this and you want to learn a lot more about graphic design, illustration, video editing, all those sorts of fun things, I'm on Skillshare.com slash John Brahman. That's where I have my full length classes. And yes, it is a paid platform, but I think it's only like $10 a month or something. You can get all of my classes. And if you're smart, you stay on there and keep learning because there's tons of other awesome teachers. There's hundreds and hundreds of other classes. It might even be thousands. I don't know now. So it's a great platform. I really like it. And hopefully, you know, this YouTube thing is going to work out too. So again, hit like, hit subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Thanks.